This is Oliver from ARS. I walk you through our Jamaya site as of uh, end of July 2014. I think you would be very surprised what's happening. Here we see the water vendors with the pipe coming out of our Jamaya well, filling up directly the horse carts with their different 20 liter jerry cans. This is Asmalesh, he's in charge of all our food production and he will introduce you what he's planted so far, the success but also the failures. Go inside. So we fenced it nicely. In here we have the, the manual filling stations. Ahmed is make sure that everything is in order. And behind there we have the sales guard that's actually selling the water. So it looks nice and organized, I think. <laughs> Just come inside. So we had some space given to us and our objective was to prove the point that we can do food production in very limited space. Um, ask my lash. So tell us what you've done so far and um, the challenges you had. Okay, I'm Asma Lash, in charge of permaculture, food production smart project. So we are here in Jamaya and uh, as you saw this garden, it's totally something bare land. But what we did is uh, just we designed a permaculture principle by using all the permaculture principles and ethics and we start digging around and make the beds to make stable for long and uh, to stop tilling once and last so this is how we how we start the gardening over here okay so, mm. so let's follow the, the footpath I think the footpath you can see where you put in all those leaves and trees and whatever to keep them moist into the walkways the flowers are very pretty but they're functional also what do they do yeah, the flowers are very good in, uh, in the garden. This is marigold. So this marigold provides us as um, pest control. So we are not uh, we are not longer looking for for pesticides or, or other chemicals to import. So this marigold is very important for us, and it, it attracts insects to our garden, different variety of insects. So it's, it have a multiple function for us, including beauty. And they are all over the place. I see there. Okay. We see maize as a typical food in this area. What else do we see, Osmanesh? Yeah, we have a beetroot over here. And uh, we have a hot pepper. Or sweet, this is sweet pepper. And we have Highland cabbage. We have onion too. It's just intercropping. So what's this one? This big thing? Yeah, this is also another species of cabbage. Cabbage. Yeah. Okay. So next to cabbage we have onion. So those on this, this onion is also it's a, it's a it's a food for us, and it's also repellent for for pests. Okay. Multiple function here. Cool. Let's walk inside. Come on, have a look. What else is there? Let's do a quick walk through. Well, it's nice and shady. It's quite nice compared to the heat we had before. And you see, here's our solar panel in the middle and our 5,000 liter water tank, drinking water tank, and still our existing water kiosk. So everything still works nice and smooth for about three and a half years. Well, still, we have uh, some fruit trees like mulberry over here. This is our mulberry which we can use as a mulch, a fodder, and edible fruit when it get young. It can produce food for us. It can be a mulch for our beds. And it's also a fodder for, for, for our animals. So, it has a multiple function. At the same time, we have uh, in the bed, we have, we have pigeon pea, nitrogen fixer. Very good uh, fodder, fodder for animals and edible as well. The soil, as you found it, was very tough, wasn't it? There's not much nutrients, and you tried different species, I think. And uh, tell us about what worked and what did not work. Yeah, and, and this, so this soil is, uh, is, 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 is very good at all, and we depend on the organic system. We start mulching, means recycling all the nutrients down to the garden. 
means we collect all the, the organic matter around and we, we just keep it to be mulched on, on the beds. So this is how we are making the soil to be more healthy and, uh, and uh, nutrient full and to grow healthy plants. Okay. So still we'll continue to, to plant another species. So which one is not working very well at the moment, what I see here? Yeah, at the moment we have, um, we have a white cabbage here and it's not working well. So it's but missing some, some yeah, food missing in some the soil or something? Yeah, in the soil. Maybe the, 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 the environmental situation or climatic situation. So still we are experimenting and, and trying again and again. And we will find up, finally we will end up with something suitable for the situation. And at the, at the same time we have a very interesting plant here. It's a Moringa, very young. So we are trying either it's suitable for this situation. So hope it will grow up and this will do well. We will expand it. And those little thingies here which are just about to grow? Yeah. Are they doing well? Are they experimenting or what is that? So it's, it's, it's very interesting. We start this beetroot up there and it's doing very well. And um, at the beginning this bed of uh, this onion and white cabbage and most of the white cabbage are gone and we have also hot pepper what do you mean it's gone it's, it's I mean, eaten um, or yeah, not working no, or? it's not working it's suffering with uh, the okay. environment okay yeah so what we did is we we, we have a success with the beetroot so still we continue with the beetroot because we have onion here ready after a couple of days so still we will have a beetroot growing up okay so every time we have something Okay, what does the sunflower do for us? Hang on, where's the nice sunflower? Oh, there are nice sunflowers over there. Yeah, yeah. Let's have a look and see yes. the sunflowers. What do they do for, for food and for, for the local sunflower? I've yeah. never seen many of them here. It's very interesting. Uh, sunflower is one of the, the... The seed contains oil. And what the local people are doing around the southern region, they just roast it and crush and put it in the boiled water and add, add, add salt and they, just, they just drink it as, as a coffee wow so it's nutrients so it's a nutrient oil okay yep. well when i see some tomatoes in different levels of development um <laughs> yeah we have uh, still con start with tomato small but um, it's not it's not longer doing very well so still there is something missing in the situation so we'll still continue to 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 register what is wrong what is what type of pest is arise so we have a mixation of um the onion with tomato but most of the tomatoes are not doing very well but in our next side they are doing very well so this one is a little bit high so we, we are finding the solution uh, why, why they are not doing very well Solar panel from here. This is Ahmed, where he double checks his housing. Here's Ahmed. <laughs> the wood is just for storage, it will go soon. Well, here are our flowers again, beautiful and functional, lovely. Uh, along the walkway, we have um, cowpea on the edges of the bed and in the beds. They are nitrogen fixers. And we have pigeon feet. Oh, mix it together. Okay. Look how the fence is doing well. It's very well protected now with wood, with other plants. So the side is really well protected from the outside. Here is the side at the back of the kiosk where we want to put our compost toilet for the workers here so that they can use toilet services without flushing water and we can use that composting system for our soil enrichment. What is this? This looks this like carrot. lovely carrots. And this is a resting carrot. So we start this uh, agriculture or permaculture over here. It's, it's just uh, something like four months old. Four months old. Old, yeah. This is incredible. Without any chemicals, without any pesticides, any, any, organic, any artificial organic, arti yes. um, fertilizers. Yeah. Okay, amazing. And we have the little pond over here. Oh, look at this pond. Lovely, lovely. Yeah, we're harvesting all the grey water from the overflow of uh, 
the water sale. So the, the grey water is where the water which is wasted on the on the water sale side because of splashing around is being captured here. And I see some some libellen, I'm not sure what this word is, these little animals flying around eating mosquitoes and so on. So it's is it a mosquito breeding area or is it really yeah, um, here there are a couple of anim insects are living over here, and mosquitoes are also here. But we have um, we have those tadpoles, and they are eating all the mosquitoes. I mean, the the system is uh, just very inter great interesting situation and habitat for a biodiversity. Okay. So we have all the biodiversity over here. Mm. So we have piridators, and they keep all the unwanted uh, species, and this is very interesting one. Okay. So I see some blue libellas. I, what is it? You know this? Oh, I don't know the English word. These uh, is blue. It's, it's cal scalpy. Um, the things that's flying. It looks very colorful. Anyway, just continue going along. Oh look, there's. I think there's some. some. Oh, one. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so keep keep going. Do you think we should have a cat here? Can. We should. Okay. Look at all the birds here, happily eating away all the insects. Nice, and this is the walk. Where this is the water flash coming from the kiosk into into our pond system, and that pond has been used in for for some manual irrigation if you, if needed. Okay. So on this side, what we did is uh, we have uh, water flowing from from the overflow of the kiosk. So what we plant is a sugar cane over here, integrated with a fava bean. So the fava bean is fixing nitrogen to the ground. And the steel will continue to plant another s vegetables and, and the cereal crops over there because the, the sugar cane will enjoy all the moisture from here because we have a plenty of water here and, uh, okay. and, and the sugar cane will enjoy that one. And we enjoy the sugar cane because of... We can sell it? Yeah, we can sell it. Sure. What's the price per sugar cane? Uh, one, of, one, one, one sugar cane is uh, in the average it's, it's 8 beer, from 8 up to 10. So from one pit we have a plenty of maybe more than 15 uh, uh, sugar cans we can find in the first harvest. We have here, even at the beginning we have one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and more in the next one. So in, in, the, in the first harvest we can have uh, more than 10. In the next harvest it will increase more and more. Okay, how, how quickly are they ready for harvesting? How long will they take to grow? Yeah, it may, it, it may take one year. Okay. It's 12 months. So okay. It will be ready. Good. And uh, on this side we have we have a fodder, this um, elephant grass. So this elephant grass will be very good for us for the next time. It's, it's, it's very interesting for us that once they grow up, we can have an animal system here. We can keep a cattle, so maybe sheep here and feed them and and produce our own manure and still continue to change the soil to be more healthy and li and, and healthy living soil. Okay. Yeah. And the core center that we use is AFTO, where we experiment with all the other plants and where we bring straw and soil improvement material from AFTO? Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> we have another site, AFTO, to look at this afternoon. So in the AFTO we did all the things and transported here. Okay. So once the, the, the guy in charge of uh, food security over here, once he gets strong, he will continue doing his own things. Okay. Yeah. Show us the lizard house. Okay. And explain the lizard house, why it's good to have lizards good. around. So quickly checking our kiosk charging system. Wow, look. Yeah. Incredible. And here is the site. Yeah, the site map. Site map? Yeah. Hey, amazing. Well, we go through that in a minute um, as a separate video, otherwise it takes too long to explain. Um, so show us the lizard house and why and how you designed it. Yeah, this is um, this is a habitat for our pyridatus, like lizard and the others. So we we have a pile of stone over here. So they enjoy this one. So they, they keep they keep sheltering in this um, pile of stone. So in the morning they can come up and enjoy the sun. And in the afternoon and in the morning, every every day they get into the garden and look at the pests. They are not they are not eating the, the, the vegetable and any green thing, but they are looking for meat. So they clean all the all the pests around and keep keep living here. So this is very interesting.